Hello and welcome to science lesson number 23. So first of all guys, can we all turn and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello! And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. And when we're ready guys, open our eyes and come back to the room. Okay. And next we'll stand up and do our stretch sequence. So push in our chairs. And let's begin by putting our hands on our head. Hands on our shoulders. Hands on our knees. Hands on our toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now, do you think we can do it quicker? Yes. Shall we do it quick? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And to finish, five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, sit down guys. So welcome to science lesson 23. And we're going to begin, teachers, by giving each student a blank piece of paper. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 You're welcome. Now guys, we don't need pencils. We don't need pens. Now what we need to do Crumple our papers into a ball. Crumple as high as, as much as you can. Everybody go like this so we can see our papers. Chu, can you crumple your paper?
What happens? Does the paper go back to the way it was? No, what happens? The paper changes. The paper changes. Can we say changes? Okay. Anybody know how to spell changes? C H A N G E S. Changes. The paper changes. Because the way it was before, when we crumple it, it doesn't go back. It changes. So now, I want us all to take our papers and throw over to that part of the room. Throw over. Throw your papers. Throw your paper. Throw your paper. Throw your paper. It's okay if you drop it. Okay. Can you throw your paper? Excellent. Okay. Next object. We have, does anybody know what this is? Rubber, Rubber band. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, and this time, let's all look at our rubber band. Can we go like this with our rubber band? Can we stretch it? Yes. Now be careful. Can we let go at one end? Does it go back to the way it was? Yes. Yes. Stretch. And then let go one end. Does it return to the way it was? Yes. So what do we call this? The paper changes. Does the rubber band change? No. No. So we say the rubber band. Ready, guys? Does not change. Paper, paper changes. changes. Rubber band, Rubber band. Does, does not, not change. change. Okay, thanks guys. Rubber band. Rubber band. Okay, so you can see the paper changes. The rubber band does not change. It goes back to the way it was. Has everybody got a, what is this? Can we squeeze our pencil? No. Squeeze, squeeze our pencil. Squeeze our pencil. Oh! Squeeze it as hard as we can. Oh! 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 What happens to the pencil? Does it change or does not change? No, it stays the same. Does not change. And one final object we all have. What is this? Ruler. So let's, ready? We can flex the ruler. We can flex the ruler. Does the ruler change? The ruler, it, it goes back. You see, after we let go, does the ruler go back to its same shape? Yes, the ruler does not change. Ready guys? 
does not change. Okay. So let me see. How many objects did we look at? Paper, rubber bands, pencil, ruler. So tell me, when teacher Wells says the name of the thing, tell me either changes or does not change. Paper. Changes. Paper changes shape. Pencil does not change. It doesn't change shape. Ruler does not change. We can bend the ruler, but when we let go, it goes back to the same shape. And how about rubber band? Did the rubber band change? No. No. Yes, even though the rubber band, we can stretch it, it's flexible, as soon as we let go, back to its shape, does not change. One more time, changes. Changes. Does not change. Does not change. Does anybody know what this exercise was? What were we looking at? We were looking at... Changes in objects. Changes in objects. Paper is an object. Pencil is an object. What else is an object? Rubber band is an object. Is a ruler an object? Yes. Yes. Is a marker an object? Yes. Will this change or not change if not teacher change. squeezes it? Not yes. You're right. You see? The, rub the marker does no. not change. Excellent, guys. Well done. Round of applause. So now, what we're going to do is have a look at a PowerPoint presentation to learn a little bit more about, ready guys? Changes in objects. So let's all turn our chair to have a look at the TV screen. Okay, so today's PowerPoint presentation is called Changes, Changes. in Objects. 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 Yes. PowerPoint number one. So first of all, objects that do not change when force is applied. So these are things that will not change. Okay? Rubber bands. We've already seen, we did a class demonstration with a rubber band. The rubber band becomes long when it is stretched. That is what is called force. We apply force to the rubber band. When released, the rubber band goes back to its original place or shape. Remember when it was a little circle and then we stretch it, it goes longer. But as soon as we let go, it goes back to its original shape. Does the rubber band change or does not change? Does not change. Does not change, excellent. Pencil. How many pencils can you see here? Four pencils. Four pencils. The, pencil the pencil does not change, does not change its, shape its shape when a force, when a force 
is applied, is applied on, it. on it. You see, when I try to squeeze the pencil, I remember when you all tried to squeeze your pencils. That is when we applied force. When we squeeze something, we apply force. Did the pencil change shape? No, no. No. So do we say changes or does not change? Does not change. Correct, player. Well done. Does not change. Ruler. Again, another one of our classroom items. When we bend, when we bend a plastic ruler, plastic ruler, the shape of the ruler will change. The shape of the ruler will change. But when we release the force, release, release the force, it will return to its original place, <coughs> or shape. <coughs> so does the ruler change, or does not change? Ruler does <coughs> not change. <coughs> Next one. Objects that change when force is applied. Okay, these are things that do change. What objects have we seen so far that changes? Paper. We did the, remember when we got the paper, crumpled it into a ball. When we let go of the paper, it did not go back to its original shape. It stayed as it was. So the paper, changes you see paper the crumpled paper does not go to its original shape when the force is released it stays crumpled. You can see our papers now from before. They're all on the floor. They're crumpled. They will stay that way forever. They will not return back to their original shape. Does paper change or not change? Not change. Does not change. Very good. Ice. Ice. Or water. Some objects change due to temperature. What happens to water when you freeze it? It turns to ice. What happens to ice when you melt it? It changes back to water, exactly. Water, when cooled, or frozen turns into ice <coughs> and ice when in room temperature turns into water so does ice and water change or does not change? change. changes yes water can be turned into ice and ice can be turned into Water, they can change. And also, water, if we heat water, what happens? Yes, and you know when you see the steam? If you boil water, you see the steam, water will turn into a gas. Water can change to a gas too. Does anybody know? Popcorn, yes. But before it's popcorn, can we say corn kernels? Yes. These are the little pips or seeds of corn that are used to make popcorn. 
Have you ever seen popcorn being made? Yes. It's fun when it's in the bag and then it goes pop, 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 pop. When the bag is heated, when the bag is heated, the corn kernels will rise and expand and they become, what is this? Popcorn. Popcorn. Who likes popcorn? Everybody raises their hand, except you. You not like popcorn? No? Okay. Where, will you, where do you eat popcorn? Teacher, where, if teacher Wes goes to the cinema to watch a movie, they will have popcorn. I like to eat popcorn <coughs> and Pepsi. Yes, when go to watch a movie. It's very nice. <coughs> so ready guys? When corn kernels are heated, the kernels will pop will pop and we will get, and we will get popcorn. popcorn that's why this is corn corn, corn goes pop. pop and we have popcorn so now you know popcorn so does the corn change yes yes because when it becomes popcorn it won't go back once the corn kernels here have changed into popcorn they won't go back because we need to eat the popcorn <laughs> so we won't change back to corn any questions guys no. okay well done <laughs> welcome back to class we hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint exercise which showed the various ways that objects can change and some objects don't change so it shows objects that change can take on various forms and change back again like remember the water can turn to ice but once we melt the water the ice again it will turn back to water but some other things will not change and now it's time for our stretch sequence so everybody stands up guys I'm pushing your chairs Everybody stand straight and now hands up and down touch our toes up and down to touch your toes up one more time side to side side to side and now forwards and backwards forwards and backwards and stop hands on hips how many star jumps to finish ten ten one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. Hey. Okay, ten. That was a long, that was ten. Very good. Okay, so now it's time for a board exercise. What have we been looking at today, guys? Changes in objects. So, something that does change, what do we say? Changes. Changes, exactly. So let's see, C. H A N G E S. Let's write that again, that's not quite good. C H A N G E S. Changes. Changes. And what about something that won't? does not change O E S does not N O T change C H A N D E 
Excellent. We don't need this. It does not change. So, changes. Changes. Does not change. Does not change. What we're going to do now, we're going to do a classroom activity together. We have to find out five objects that change and five objects that don't change. Okay? So think about what we've done already. If teacher Wes says paper, does paper change or does not change? change. Paper change. changes. Okay. P A P E R. So paper changes. Tissue is paper. But now, let's see, can we think of an object that does not change? Think about what we've learned so far, what we've done in the lesson so far. Fan. Fan? Not really a fan. What have, what have we learned in the lesson? What did you use before? Rubber band. Rubber band. Does the rubber band change? Or does the rubber band does not change? It does not change. Okay. How do we spell rubber? R U B B E R B A N D Rubber band does not change. Paper changes. Okay, so let's think something else that changes. Clothes changes, but does it go back to the way it is? Yes, so it doesn't really change. So what we can say, clothes, does it change? Yes. Clothes does not change. If teacher Wes has a shirt on, if I crumple up my shirt like we did with paper, when I let go, it goes back to the way it was. So, clothes does not change. Excellent. So we get one for this column. Clothes. Excellent. What happens if we freeze water? Ice. Ice. So does water change? Yes. Excellent. Now you're beginning to understand. Water. Food. 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 Let's think about food. Orange. Yes. If we have an orange, if we squeeze it, what happens? It will change. If we have spaghetti, pizza, hamburger, if we bite it, what will happen? Change. It will change. Will it go back to the way it was? No. So, very good. We will say that food changes. Oh, yeah. So, ready guys? Food changes. Water, Water changes. Changes. Paper, Paper changes. changes. It's like, imagine we have a chocolate bar. You have a bar of chocolate. If teacher Wes gets the bar of chocolate and squeezes it, it will break. If we let go, will it go back to the way it was? No. 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 So, food <coughs> changes. So how about something else that does not change? We have so far clothes, rubber band. We've done some in the classroom today. Ruler. Did the ruler change? No. No. The ruler, when we bend it, it moves shape. And then when we let go, back to its original shape. So we can say that the ruler R U L E R ruler does not change. 
three each. How many on this side? One, two, three. How many on this side? One, two, three. So we need two more on each side. Any ideas? Changes. Does not change. We need two more for each. Can you think? Paper clip. Now paper clips are good one. Because if we squeeze a paper clip, does it change? No. no. But what about if we bend the paper clip? And then we let go. Will it go back to the way it was? No. no. Does anybody have a paper clip? No. no. Because what happens is when we bend it, it will stay bent. So therefore, paper clip. Does paper clip change or not change? Hmm, both. We can't have both because it either changes or it doesn't. Changes. changes. If we have a paper clip, we can bend it. And when we let go, will it go back to the way it was? No. So paper clip changes. Paper. K K C L I P paper clip changes. We can bend a paper clip and change its shape. It won't go back to the way it was. It's not like a rubber band. If we stretch a rubber band, it goes back. If we bend a paper clip, it stays. How about something else does not change? Marker. Marker. Like this. Pack boom. Squeeze the marker. Hard as you can. Urgh. Does it change? No. no. Boom. It will not change. You might break something. <laughs> you might break something if you hit it, but it won't. <laughs> See? It, it, did it change? No. no. <laughs> so does the marker change? No, no. No. How do we spell marker? M. A. M. A. M. A. A. K. Before K. C. No. E. No. M. No. O. R. K. K. E. R. E. R. Marker. marker. How many for changes so far? How many for does not change? Four. How many more do we need? One. one. We need one more. Okay, I've heard two things Pencil since. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Hmm. Pencil sharpener. What happens if we squeeze a pencil sharpener? Will it change? No. No. Does anybody have a pencil sharpener? Me. Can I see? Thanks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bang pong. What is this? Pencil. Does it change? No. no. It stayed the way it was. Thank you, Pang Pong. You can try to squeeze it. See if you can change it. <laughs> you will break it. <laughs> Pencil sharpener changes? No. no. Pencil sharpener does not change. So how do we spell? does not change. Five. Yay! Ready? Rubber band, Rubber band. Does, not does, not does not change. Clothes, Clothes. Does, not change. does not change. Ruler, Ruler. Does, not change. does not change. Marker, Marker. Does, not change. does not change. Pencil sharpener Pencil 
How many four changes? Four. We need one more. But I've heard it already. It's a great example. Down. Can you say your words again? You said to teacher before. Soil. Soil. Where do we find soil? In the ground. Does soil change? No. Really? What happens if it rains? Does the soil get wet? Yes. The soil turns to? Or mud. Mud. It turns, you're right, in a way, the soil gets wet and becomes like dirty water. And what we call that is mud. Sometimes when it's raining, you see your shoes or your pants, they're like, they get dirty with mud. That's what we call soil when it's wet. So down, how do we spell soil? Soil plus water, which we know already changes, equals mud. M-U-D. Like boys or girls, some of you play football or you play sports. You know your sports field? When it rains very heavy and it's all you can see all the water and mud. mud that's what it is you say oh the sports field is muddy so down the soil change yes. paper Shame. paper changes water Shame. changes Shame. food Shame. changes Shame. paper clip changes Soil changes because soil and water is mud. Okay, guys? Excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. And it's now time for our worksheet activity. So, teachers, you will need to print off the worksheet for all of your students before the lesson. Give your students 10 minutes to complete this activity. What they need to do is look at each object and decide if it changes or does not change. So one more time guys, changes, does not change. So have a look at the six objects and decide by writing in the box. Rubber band, clay, pencil, Paper. Paper. Popcorn. Popcorn. Ruler. Ruler. Excellent. And what's the first thing to do? Name. 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 You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, teachers, 10 minutes for this activity. Just monitor the class. Any questions or any help with spelling or anything that they need, you can assist. But like in my class on the boards, we have the two phrases, changes and does not change. And if you have time, guys, write the name of the thing on the top of the picture. So rubber bands, we've learned before. Does rubber bands change or not change? Does not change. Does not change, excellent. So we write in here, it does not change. You can see here too how the phrase does not change. Clay. C L A Y. Excellent. If you think rubber bands, does rubber bands change or not change? Do does not change. You can see here, you can write. Mm -hmm. And if you think it changes, you can write that. My teacher Wes, I've written, I, I have written on the board here, changes for things that change, like paper, water, food, paper clip, soil. 
does not change rubber band clothes ruler marker pencil sharpener almost perfect C H A N N that's correct changes N N okay and if you have time on the top write the name of the thing very good down you understand P O P C O before N popcorn R popcorn P O P C O R N does not change changes. Paper, does paper change? No. Yes. yes. Paper does. Remember the first exercise we did, we crumpled it up and then we threw it. And if you have extra time, at the top of your pictures, you can write the name of the thing, like pencil, ruler, paper. How do we spell clay? Prow. C L A Y. Excellent. 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 Clay changes. Yeah. Does not. Yeah, that's okay. Here changes. This one change. How many bees? Okay, mate. Let's see. Does not change. Not change. Change. Does not change. Does not change. 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 Does not change. Very good. Rubber band. Rubber band. Clay. Clay. Pencil. Pencil. Paper. Paper. Popcorn. Ruler. Mm. Excellent. So you begin. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to look at the various objects and decide if they change or do not change. So one time guys, we'll go through it all together. Rubber bands, Rubber bands does not change. Does not change. Clay, Clay changes. changes. Pencil, Pencil does not change. Does not change. Paper, Changes. changes. Popcorn. Popcorn. Changes. changes. And ruler. And ruler. Does not change. Does not change. Excellent, guys. You can work. <laughs> so that's the end of the lesson. And what have we learned today? We've learned about objects that changes, changes. and objects that does <laughs> not change. We hope you found it enjoyable and interesting too. And we'll see you again soon for the next one. But for now, can we all wave goodbye to our friends? Goodbye. Bye bye. bye.